Hey guys, it's Darren's Probs here, and this is episode 4 of my MCC tool chest guide. So in this one, we are doing custom biomes. So I've set up a little area here, so we're going to have a nether biome, the end biome, a mycelium biome, so the mushroom place, which seems to be really rare on console now, a desert biome, and lastly a sand biome. Now once we're done with all that, and I'll show you how to do that on the PC, I'll also show you how to convert the whole of the end as well. So we're going to make the end a nether biome. And in the nether, we're going to make an end biome. Lovely signage there, never meet the end. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's not the hardest thing in the world, but maybe some of you guys don't know how to do it. Um, so yeah, we're going to hop on to the PC now, aren't we? Yes, we are! <laughs> right, see you in the PC. Okay guys, so I'm here. I've extracted the save game, look. So, we're going to open up MCC tool chest. And now let's open up the save game and modify these biomes. So, what we want to do first, because I wrote down signs, I know it just makes my life a bit easier to find stuff. So. Let's we'll see if it's this one. Nope, that's going to be one of those. What's this one? Nope, that's that one. So it must be, look, there's these five. Let's see how they're all the same. 69, 4, 60, goes up in tens. Up and down in tens on the uh, Z coordinates. So I'm just going to do one and the rest I'll speed up. But So this one is the never one, okay? So we know that. So what I've done here, I've got a piece of paper next to me, I've written down all these coordinates. But this is the nether, as you can see. I've got all the nether rack here, yeah? So if you look down here in the bottom corner, it's not going to show now, but if I look down here, you see? It tells me the coordinates there. So I need to copy all them in that square formation, a 5x5 five five area. Um, in the biomes part. So you've got blocks here and now this is biomes. So we click that, you see I've got all of these. Now it's still in the corner as you can see down here it still tells me. So what I've got here is a piece of paper so I know I need 70, 38 and then I need to go to 74, 38. So what I want to do first is go on this list here and find the never. But the never is number 8 which is how so what you do is hold in shift, okay, and then it flashes like that, and then what you do is just change it. So we need to find 7038, which is this one. Press, well just click, and then you can hold down click and drag like that, look. And I need a 5x5 five five square. Like so. I'm just doing it quite slowly, just to show you, yeah. So that is the never one, okay? Easy. That's that, and you just press OK. Now, where the never rack is, it is the never. So what I'm going to do is speed it up and just go for it, but you will it will be sped up. But it's pointless showing you, keep showing you that, because it's the same thing. Okay, so we've done that. Sorry about the snow one. It uh, confused me a bit there because the blocks were the similar colour. But all sorted. So that's all done. we got all five different biomes there. So we'll test that in a minute. The other thing I wanted to show you was the end and the, and the never you can change. So if you go up here on tools, you can put replace biomes global. Look. So I want to add one. So we want to put the dimension never. So we want it to be all biomes in the nether to the end and replace. Let's do a little thing and that's that. It says replace completed there at the bottom. Just exit out of that and now tools 
Replace biomes global again. All biomes. This time we're doing the end, and we're going to make that into hell. Like so. Easy. And that, my friends, is it. So what I want to do, because the save button's not popped up, look, is just click on my man and just slightly move him. So we just put 47.5, only so slightly, and then I can just save it, just to make sure it's saved. Okay. So what I'm going to do is exit, and we'll load up the Xbox. Okay, so we're on the uh, Xbox again, so now let's load this up and see if the biomes have changed. Okay, so they all look pretty much the same. Um, I can see some different colour grass here. Now that's very odd because I've put it in that area and it doesn't seem to have gone in that area. Strange. Um, but you get the idea anyway, don't worry. It's probably not the right coordinates or something, but it definitely was. That's strange. Well, you can see this is the end. As you can see, the sky has changed. <laughs> um, let's put mob spawning on and just see if mobs do spawn. Now, this is the never. Now, this one's worked fine, which is quite strange. See how the sky changed different colour? That's definitely the never, and I've got some spawn eggs here to show you the other ones. Now, the mushroom biome, it doesn't, you can't actually tell if it is or not, but I don't know if the particles normally come out or not. But mobs shouldn't spawn on there, just the cows. Now, ah, the sand one is kind of in there, but it's not. This is so weird, I don't understand why it's done that. Anyway, so there should be husks there, which. There we go, you can see. Ah, that one isn't. So they're not burning in the sun, look. So, very interesting. If you want to have a base like that, I don't know why you would. But the mushroom one, it, ah, look, it's zombie pigmen. The mushroom one is ideal if you want to have no mob spawning in your base or anything. So if you make your whole area of the mushroom biome, that would be good. And for some unknown reason, look how far away that is. I. I don't know why it's done that guys, I'm really sorry, but that's supposed to be where the snow is, but obviously it won't. It's there, like you can see. Now that's the snow biome, let's see. You get the, uh, what are they called? Shadows or something? I can't even remember what they're called. Um, spectres, that's it. They're quite rare, I don't think you really see them much. Anyway, so that's that part. So you can just change the biomes. I don't know what's happened to the coordinates. Really, really weird. They were all right, trust me. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so we'll go in the end last because we can't get out of there. So the never should be like the end. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it will be. And there'll be endermen everywhere. Oh, wow, it is as well. <laughs> I've actually never tried that before, but... Wow. That is weird, isn't it? Where's all the guests? I know it's on a super flat, but... <laughs> I like that. That's really weird. What the hell? Ah, there must have been villagers jumping through. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Okay, so let's go to the end and see if there's gas and things like that in there. Now, oh, this is going to be weird. Here we go. Oh, hello, there's a little man in here. Uh, so we need to break through that first. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, imagine playing this, this would be so hard. You'll have gas against you, and pigmen, endermen. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Alright, I really want someone to do a challenge on this, because that would be hilarious. Try and beat the ender dragon in the never mode. What has happened to this? That looks so weird. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. There's also magma cream spawning. Uh, what about the wither skeletons, though? I haven't seen any of them yet. Hmm, hang on. God, that dragon's so loud. I don't know, I can't see any, guys. It doesn't look like the wither skeletons actually spawn here. It just seems to be regular ones. 
But anyway, that's uh, custom biomes on the MCC tool chest. I'm Dan Props. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. <laughs>